Storm Track Weather with meteorologist Gabriela Gomez. We're only about a week into spring now. I've already seen that chance for strong storms late last night. That chance still arrives again tonight. May not necessarily be as widespread as we did see just 24 hours ago, but that threat is still there. Once that moves through just after midnight or the early hours of Saturday, could still see a few lingering showers after the sun rises and maybe throughout the afternoon and evening. Very often on hit or miss chances for that rain. Otherwise, our attention really does turn to the winds as we head throughout the day Saturday. Very strong winds sustained. 20 to 30 miles an hour wind gusts could be up to 40 or 50 miles an hour throughout the day. Once those diminish on Sunday, we'll keep the mild temperatures both tomorrow and Sunday as well, and even keep the mild air into the start of next week. And that will take us through the last couple of days of March. In terms of today's temperatures, right around average, at least here in Topeka for our high, started mild in the lower 50s this morning as well. But we still had that pretty wide range of temperatures because of this stationary front. You can kind of see where it was stalling right there. Lower 60s for some of the central counties. Further south you go, Emporia got up to 67. Some over northern counties barely got out of the lower 50. So that just goes to show how much this uh, front is affecting our temperatures. It will still stay in place throughout the night into tomorrow. So still going to see that uh, gradient of temperatures, but then it finally moves on out. Still lingering with cloud cover. A few showers starting to develop for some of our northwestern counties near the Kansas-Nebraska state line. And we're still looking at a chance for some showers and storms throughout the next couple of hours. So just within the next hour or two could see some spotty showers and spotty storms start to develop, especially heading into early hours of tomorrow morning. Again, these threats keep continuing to diminish. That doesn't mean it's not there, but it's not necessarily as intense as it was maybe just earlier today as we had once thought. But still the chance for some scattered showers and storms could hear some rumbles of thunder, lightning as well, some locally heavy rainfall as that passes on through, maybe even some hail as well. We cannot rule that out. Still few spotty showers early throughout the day tomorrow morning, and we should see maybe a few more throughout the afternoon as well. But temperature wise, again, these next couple of days above average will stay in those upper 60s, at least here locally tomorrow. Some of our northern counties may not get that warm for the afternoon and will should be at least most of the viewing area within the same temperature gradient heading on into Sunday as that front finally moves on through. Again, that chance for a few spotty showers, especially for our northwestern counties tomorrow afternoon, doesn't look to it looks to dissipate heading into the evening hours. A little bit of cloud cover overnight. Once those clouds move on through, we should remain mostly sunny as we head into Sunday. And then we turn our attention to the winds heading on into Saturday. Really see those winds pick up from the southwest and the west overall. 20 to 25, maybe even up to 30 miles an hour sustained throughout the day. It'll start to back off Sunday and really won't really back off and taper off until Sunday evening. So because of those strong winds tomorrow has prompted a wind advisory that will go into effect tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock and stay in effect until 8 o'clock in the evening. So very strong winds tomorrow. Still have that slight chance for some strong thunderstorms tonight. Lingering showers early tomorrow morning. Temperatures stay in the 60s for the next several days. Another rain chance Monday into Tuesday. That could linger a little bit longer in the day Tuesday. That will take us through the last day of March. We'll start to enter April on Wednesday, staying mostly dry, mostly sunny with those 60s stink sticking around. Then heading into the later part of next week, could see another chance for some kind of precipitation and also colder temperatures as well.